and welcome. My name is Reinhold Bogner and today we're going to go over the Lagrange pedal, which is our newest overdrive pedal that mimics the sounds of an old plexi. <laughs> So we start with the controls. Basically here we have the gain control. This gain control sets the amount of gain. It has another gain control that is a switch, which is from the far left over. And it has a medium and a low and a high position. So basically the maximum gain amount you get, you're gonna set with this, you know, starting with the switch. If you want high gain, you set it to high and then get a lot of gain. If you want medium, you set it to medium or the low, lowest, like very almost clean sounding amps. You're gonna have the middle position. And next we have the very unique channel blend control. This mimics the four input Marshall technique that was used by people in the old days that were used to jump the channels from, you know, like the bright channel to the bass channel, put a little link cable and then go into the bright channel high input. And basically this gives you the control over the detail control over the low end and the high end in a separate, you know, fashion. So basically the treble channel gives you a lot of high end and uh, mid range control. And then the uh, bass channel gives a lot of low end, less highs and more mellow sound. And then if you blend them kind of 50-50, you get like a nice balanced sound. So if you want attack, fast reaction, you're going to put it all the way 100% treble. If you want like, like mellow, bluesy or looser kind of sound, you're going to put it at 100% bass or like 50-50, just kind of like a fairly balanced tone. Moving one over, we have the tone control. This tone control sits like towards the end of the pedal in the architecture of the signal flow. So basically, it determines the output of the amp and like of the pedal. Like if you want like more mellow sound, you put it like all the way down, more balanced here, and then want emphasis on the highs, you would turn it up more like towards you know clockwise. The last rotary control in the overdrive section is the volume control. This is the overall output volume of the pedal. So the last control here now is the white one, which is the boost control. The boost control works separately with this foot switch. So basically we have a clean boost after the overdrive section. If the pedal is on, if the pedal is not on, it can be used as a separate clean boost. And you set the amount here. This switch and this LED indicates if the boost section is on, the white one basically over here. And then this switch and this LED indicates if the overdrive section, all the black knobs are on. When the battery is running low, those LEDs will start blinking for a little while. So this means like you should change your battery. Now we're going to go over the top four switches, which are all connected with the overdrive section, so with the black knob section, basically. First, we have the gain 
switch with three positions, medium, low and high. This works in conjunction with the control, like we already mentioned here, the gain control. And medium and low is kind of like a regular plexi and high actually gives you somewhat of a modified plexi sound, you know, so quite a bit of gain there. Then next over we have the variac control. This is a very unique control that kind of mimics um, what people used to do. They used to use a variac to lower the voltage to, let's say, in America from 120 to 90 volts which makes the amplifier kind of react very different, more like um, compressed, a little bit easier distorted and browned out, they would call it. And so this gives you that in the on setting, you know, or more dynamic, brighter in the off and um, slightly louder, just like the real amp. And then we have the presence control, which is a two position. So basically high and low. And this kind of, you know, depending on with the tone control and also the input of the, your amplifier, depending on if you have, for example, like a bright switch on on the amplifier, you more likely run it in the low position. If you already have a more darker sounding or mellow sounding amp, you might want to run it higher or any combination of it to your liking. So the last switch here is the structure switch. So basically it's a three position switch. We start to the right position, which is a small dot filled out. This is a very focused, tighter node. Then in the middle, the filled out circle is a bigger, fuller node, uh, slightly looser than the other position. And all the way to the left, the hollow circle kind of reflects the more scooped, bigger node sound. So now we're gonna go to the back panel. We have the expression pedal input, which we're gonna explain in a minute in more detail. The input, output, and if you wanna use a power supply, uh, this would be the input, nine volts DC, we really recommend. Battery is on the bottom, so you can run it without a power supply or with a power supply. One of the very unique features of this pedal is the expression pedal input. You would plug in your low impedance volume pedal to control the amount of gain with your foot. So basically, you set your maximum amount of gain you ever want with the switch and the, the rotary knob on the front panel like we previously discussed. Then you can attenuate this with your foot like from the maximum gain to like lower gain setting. So you can have like low gain, medium, and anything in between up to the high gain, remotely controlled with your foot. Hey guys, so basically that's it for the Lagrange. We went through so many revisions and R&D and uh, refinements of this pedal. We are very excited to actually put it out now and I hope you get excited about it too.